for joining us. First at 530, the number of licensed hunters is on the decline in South Carolina, and that can have a negative impact on the deer population. A DNR employee is taking that cause into classrooms in an unusual way. 7 News reporter Nicole Ford standing by live from the Calhoun Academy of the Arts to tell us about this unusual method, Nicole. Well, Gordon, it is very unique. It actually starts with this, a deer antler, and then Lance Corporal Sean Hanna will actually turn it into this. It's still a deer antler, but it's complete with fact sheets, and soon this will hang in every single one of the elementary school classrooms in Anderson County. And he is going to be hanging something in your classrooms. Inside Calhoun Academy of the Arts. How you doing? There's a man doing and good. a bucket. All right, deer antler. How many of y'all ever seen a deer antler before? How many of you have ever touched a deer antler before? Lance Corporal Sean Hanna is with South Carolina DNR and came up with this project to give every elementary school classroom in Anderson County a deer antler. I have noticed with my two kids that there's a tendency, especially you know on a rainy day, to just want to sit down and watch TV, which is fine. But then when the sun's out, they still want to stay inside. This is an opportunity for kids to realize that nature is there for them. With a hook, it hangs at the door, ready to be used as a learning tool. These are all boy deer. Okay? How do you tell how old it is? It's well, these questions. Has anybody in here ever touched a deer antler before? That drive Hannah, who says the younger generations just don't know as much about the state animal and the sport that surrounds it. In fact, studies show in the last six years there's been a 5% drop in licensed hunters in the state of South Carolina. The decline in hunters could be attributed to a multitude of factors. My personal opinion is that as a family gets out of hunting, the child is less likely to take it up. The other problem is that as we lose habitat, there's less places for people to go hunting. Now each child will get to touch, hold, and learn about the white-tailed deer and be reminded of the great outdoors. It all starts with something as small as either meeting a game warden or getting to pass around a deer antler, and the next thing you know, maybe they're trying to ask somebody to take them fishing or take them hunting. Now, Hannah has actually already hung antlers in Concord Elementary School as well as Whitehall Elementary School. He started right here at Calhoun today. He hopes to finish up before the end of the week. Now, he started with Anderson District 5 first, but hopes to hang them in every district in the county. We're live in Anderson tonight. Nicole Ford, 7 News. All right, Nicole, step one to teach a kid is to get their attention, so maybe that would work. Hannah says he hopes to have enough antlers to finish this project this year, but he might have to wait till the season ends to get more antlers but says he welcomes any donations to DNR for the project.